How to DIY Convert Fujifilm S4300 to a Full Spectrum Camera Here is DIY Full Spectrum Camera. The tricky part of this camera conversion is that it needs a glass in the front of the sensor. Otherwise, it can't focus. But we can overcome this obstacle by fitting borosilicate glass in the front of the sensor. We just need a Dremel tool and also some diamond bits for it. The glass cutting with Dremels is straightforward. You will need a tube for water, a diamond bit, not expensive, and preferably an extension for Dremel. The extension is necessary because water will get into our Dremel and it most likely will burn. Here is our Dremel. Here is the extension. And here are the diamond bits. We will also use an anti-static bracelet, soldering iron, some soldering wire, borosilicate borofloat glass, 3M double-sided tape, safe knife, small screwdrivers. Those diamond bits are about 4 United States dollars for 30 pieces. Eventually, they wear out, but you can cut a lot of glass with each of them. Now we must know the size of our glass. And for this, we need to disassemble the camera. Disconnect ribbon cables and remove the top. We will also need to use a soldering iron to desolder some cables. I desolder power cables but not from the PCB. This way it is easier to solder them back in. Take out this metal cover. The sensor is underneath it. Now it's necessary to make the sensor level again when assembling. For this, I have a marked screwdriver. Sensor leveling, the leveling is actually not necessary for this camera. I do this, tighten each screw. Write down how many degrees you turned the screwdriver. Unscrew those screws. For full spectrum we will leave those numbers the same. Actually we would move the sensor to the front by turning each screw 180 degrees. For infrared conversion, I would also add to each number 180 degree, shift the sensor to the back. When assembling, please tighten all screws and turn them a bit anti-clockwise according to your notes. Also turn extra degrees anti-clockwise for infrared conversions. For full spectrum conversions leave the same degree numbers. If the camera does not focus turn them clockwise slightly to shift the sensor to the front. Now take the sensor out, put the springs and screws into the bag and cover the camera. We will take out the hot mirror. It's been held in the place by a sticky plastic which can be removed with a knife. Try to keep the sensor facing down to protect it from any dust. Measure the plastic part of the sensor and cut four pieces about two millimeters wide of double-sided tape. Stick those pieces to the plastic. Quickly remove the paper layer from double-sided tape. Paper particles are light and can fly into the sensor. Those tape lengths are our glass dimensions. Make those numbers bigger by 1 mm and cut the glass with Dremel. Prepare the glass, clean it with a lens cleaning spray and make sure there is no dust on it. Use a 250 lumens or stronger LED light. I use front light from a bicycle. Stick the glass to the sensor plastic. Finally, assemble the camera. Level the sensor using my description above. Remember to raise the flash when putting the top in. If not, the small switch can be damaged. Due to the damage the flash will fire all the time even when the flash is closed so you will need to disable it in the camera's menu.